Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about the strategy related to NTA UGC net economics in particular. Before we come on to the topic, this important announcement that if you want to solve the previous year question papers, these all are available for free on our mobile app. You can download the mobile app from the description of this video. Now moving on towards the strategy because a lot of students ask me on my WhatsApp number and also on the chat box of mobile app or on emails like how to approach the economics in particular because economics is having high cutoff in comparison to the other subjects. So you need to keep in mind few important things that we will discuss here. First of all, the important thing is to cover the syllabus. Now covering the syllabus is obviously a very easy task. It looks like from the front, but if you get into the subject, you will realize that some important topics, they require a lot of time. Some topics are factual in nature. Some topics are having in-depth knowledge that is required in the examination. So how to prepare for that? The important thing here, we need to understand about the concept of cost benefit analysis. Now thinking about the first point, cost benefit analysis. If you see, if I give you the example of growth and development, in growth and development economics, suppose they ask the question related to Rostow's economic model or Schumpeter's economic model. They ask particular questions like they ask question from assumption, they will ask question from uh, suppose the basic notion, the theory, the equation, etc. So here it means if you are reading that theory, it is easy to counter these, these particular uh, kind of questions. But if you compare some other topics like Indian economy, if they ask certain question related to a committee, now you know that since independence we have hundreds and thousands of committees. So it's very difficult to remember to mug up all the committees. So what's the cost benefit? If you read a particular model of growth and development, you will get all the knowledge about that model and you'll be able to solve the question in the examination. But if you think from the perspective of the Indian economy, you need to mug up around 100, 100 plus committees in order to get or solve one question. So that is the one important point that I want to make that cost benefit analysis of each and every subject in the UGC net economics paper that you must to do. Apart from this, if you see the question paper and the syllabus, these both are in correlation. So these two are in correlation. Now how you can identify that correlation? If you see the syllabus and if you see the question paper, they ask questions related to some factual information, some theoretical, conceptual, graphical, or in part of, we can say a mathematical equation model. Now, if you see the subjects like microeconomics, macroeconomics, international economics, growth and development, these four subjects are having majority of the questions. Although NTA identified or NTA already declared that they'll ask equal amount of questions from each and every section, but it has been seen in the previous examinations, like since 2017 when NTA started conducting this examination. What they were doing, they are asking uneven questions. So around 10 to 12 questions you'll find from microeconomics, macro, growth and development and international economics where you have a lot of chance to cover the syllabus. So around 50 questions you will get from these four subjects. So try to focus on these areas. The second important aspect is the importance of previous year questions. Previous year questions are available for free in order to solve the questions. These all are questions available on app in the MCQ type questions. So you can uh, take that question, take the test as well as within a stipulated time period. You can finish that, you can judge your time speed, you can judge the analysis, you can see where you are going wrong or what are the options you are marking wrong and what questions you need to revise the subject that particular. So this is the best thing that you can do. Now previous year question give you, will give you the highlight that from where you have to move. Like what are the conceptual clarity that you need to take before the examination. So here previous year question paper will give, will give you this impo important trend, the, the question level, they will give you the important aspects that how to solve the questions or how much in-depth question they are asking. Because if you see the previous paper, they have asked around factual question, around 30 to 40 questions, they were factual in nature. Like here they are asking, the books given by the economists they are asking, uh, the chronology of the theory they are asking. So the paper pattern you will analyze if you give the previous year questions paper. The third important aspect is building the quality notes because in the examination hall if you are reading right now suppose anything is a leisure reading it is sure that you will not able to recall that the same fact in the examination hall. 
So what you need is to make personal notes. Whenever you see some important information that may be asked in the examination, you can write it in your register or loose sheets. I, I, I will always prefer some loose sheets because this gives you the chance to update your notes later on. Because economics is a dynamic subject, we have to keep updating our notes. This is what I have done in my uh, previous attempts in the JRF and all other examinations like which is based on the multiple choice question. So making the notes is very very vital especially the factual information that you can write. For more things, for more details about the factual information, years, the theories given by the economist, you can follow us on Instagram where on a daily basis we give some theory related to economics. So here you can follow and you'll get a lot of information because that is my personal notes that I'm making these posts and that is very very helpful in the examination examination of UGC net NT. The next important thing is time management. Although we have seen in the previous attempts with the students I was talking about, if you see that students are struggling with the time management. So do not spend much time on a particular question. If you're not able to understand that question, leave it, come back again. So what is the process should be? If you see the question paper, you can see the question paper round about around three to four times in the stipulated time period. It means it depends on your skill that you should read each and every question around three to four times in the examination hall because that give you extra perspective. Sometimes in the nervousness, we mark the wrong option. So I hope you understand why I'm saying that you should revisit all the question paper around three to four times. Next important aspect is how to solve multiple choice questions. Now MCQ based examination is very simple to crack. First of all, it is also very difficult due to some of the lacuna that students are having or some of the wrong methods that they are adopting. In the multiple choice question, it is clear that if you know the question, you will mark it correct if you don't know the question. But there are certain questions where you have 50-50% chances. Now what you can do for those questions? What I did in my previous attempts as a JRF or all other examination that I have qualified, what you can do is read the question. Do not read the option. Just hide the option by your hand. Read the question and try to think the correct answer. Because if you see the options first, you will tend to bias on that particular option that you know previously. So the important thing that here you have to keep in mind is to see the question, not the options and try to think the answer in your mind. So this is how you can identify the correct option and you're able to eliminate all the other options. And at last, be confident. Confidence plays an important role because if you are not confident, if you are feeling nervous, you tend to make mistakes and these mistakes can cost five to 10 questions. And that is the where you miss the cutoff. So it's it's very, very important that be confident in the examination hall. Now, how can you become a confident aspirant or confident student? Here, the important thing is to practice questions. And these practicing question is very, very vital. If you do a lot of practice of the multiple choice question, you will get to know the loopholes where you are making mistakes. For that, we have the solution. On our mobile app, we have multiple choice questions. You can give those questions, or give the test, consult with me directly, and you can identify the mistakes. So I hope you understand each and everything in this video, small video. The important thing here is to remain confident, especially during the exam. So I hope you like this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you understand. If you gain something very little from this video. And don't forget to subscribe Ecoholics because we have a lot of solutions for economics. In order to become an economist, professor or a researcher, Ecoholics would be very helpful for you. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Hope to see you soon. All the best for the examination.